So you might be trying to figure out how you can force stop applications on your Android phone. Now doing this is actually fairly basic and it really doesn't take too much time. So the first thing you're going to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application of your Android phone. So find the settings app just like this. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your apps panel. So typically our apps are kind of up here somewhere. So just find the application that says apps or application manager. And here on Samsung phones, it says apps. But all you want to do is go ahead and find it. Now, when you do that, you'll come into this page. Now, all you're going to want to do is find the application that you want to go ahead and force stop. Now, keep this in mind. If you don't know what you're doing, I would not recommend force stopping every application because that can cause some issues. For example, if you force stop like system, then that can probably cause some issues. I don't even think you can force stop a lot of these things. But for some, let's say we go and open Facebook. So you can see if I open it, there's a little panel at the bottom right that says force stop. It's very, very similar on stock Android. So whatever Android version you're rocking, it's going to be exactly the same thing probably. So find the four stop button, go ahead and click it, go ahead and click OK, and that application will now be four stopped. Now we can make our way over to another application too. Some of them, like in this one, doesn't look like I can four stop it. If I go and keep going Galaxy Store, so I can four stop this one. So all I have to do is click four stop. It's going to ask me if I want to four stop the app. I'm going to click OK, and that is it. Now you will still have the ability, the applications are still going to be on your phone. So this is not a way to delete them. And if you open it up, you'll see that as soon as I open it up, it may take a little bit longer for the application to go ahead and open it up. But if I go and make my way back into settings, you should see that the Galaxy Store is now back because I already opened it up. But if I make my way over to Facebook, it should still be forced stopped because I haven't actually opened that application yet. So when you open up the app, it's going to unforce stop it. So you have to go in and enforce stop if you want to. You don't really have to do it, but it's just something that some people do. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.